Our next guest is an actor, singer, dancer, and choreographer who's worked alongside Beyonce, Jay-Z, Eddie Murphy, and other people of great note. Her new movie is called A Thousand and One. You used to like when I got spicy. Try and be quiet. You should try and be quiet, right? Quiet like when you were missing for weeks and I sat here and said nothing. And never mind who you was with. Today, if I get any more quieter, I won't even have a voice at all. You know, I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. That's real easy for you to say because you get to be the saint, right? A Thousand and One opens in theaters a week from Friday. Please say hello to Tiana Taylor. Great to have you here. Boy, you are just great in this movie. Thank and what a great you. movie it is, Thank too. Thank you. Not, not only are you great in the movie, everybody is great in Thank the movie. Thank you, yes. Amazing cast. It's just, uh, I really was knocked out by the film. It's Thank just so you. well done. Who is the director of this movie? A.B. Rockwell. A.B. Rockwell. Yes. Well, Amazing. she did a great job. That was really something else. Yeah. You, uh, and I mentioned you worked with you know, these people as a dancer, <laughs> which is crazy because this movie is, uh, you know, it's not a it's dance movie. Opposite. This is not breaking two electric boogaloo. You know, this is a, <laughs> right. a fairly heavy film yeah. set in, in New York and uh, where you're from, I know. Uh, what did you do with Beyonce? You danced in one of her videos? Is that, no. was that <laughs> or, or you taught her to dance or something? No, no, no. I, I, I taught her a dance that she wanted to learn. Uh huh. But you know, me, me being a Harlem girl, I was supposed to teach her one thing. I had one job, you guys, just one job. <laughs> and I went in there and threw in a whole bunch more other stuff. You, you know, did. I'm a hustler, yeah. What <laughs> other stuff did you do? So she originally wanted to learn the chicken noodle soup. So I, you know, this is I was, a dance. Yeah, this, gonna... is, this is a dance. It's like a popular Harlem dance. I'm from Harlem. You know, I'd be battling everybody, you know. Uh, and she wanted to learn. So they called me in. I was like 15 years old. I hopped out the bed, my skateboard, went down there. Yes, that's actually on you. set. How did they know when, at 15 years old you'd be the one to teach Beyonce the chicken noodle soup? I mean, I didn't even know I would have that opportunity. You know, they said, I popped up in bed like, hold on. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I was ready, you know? So I'm like, you know, the Harlem and the hustle in me. I'm like, all right, bet I'm going to teach her one thing is about to turn into another. You know, and I just had to work, work my area. Was Jay Z there? Were they married at this time? They were married at that time. Um, Hope wasn't on that set, but Beyonce wanted to plug in me in to be in one of his videos. One of his videos. Okay. Yes. Right. Wow. Yeah. She and uh, she said you gotta put this. Yeah, young she was like kid a proud aunt. She was like, I told you she was a superstar. I told you that's what she was telling. Is me. that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait till she sees She's this movie. Did Jay-Z yeah. agree that you were a superstar at that time? He did, but first he tried to give me a hard time, you know, because we both were Sagittarius, so he was testing me. Oh. So um, <laughs> I was signing for Pharrell at the time, and he introduced, like, this is our newest superstar. I like, he had his uh, shades on, like, she ain't no superstar. I said, man, what's up? I'm Tiana Taylor, and I'm doing it. But I was like, I was super young. He was like, OK, maybe she is a superstar. <laughs> you know, because I didn't fold. And I think that, you know, people like to test you to see if you're going to fold. And Superstars I don't fold. Yeah, yeah. This is, um, you are, in case people don't know, your husband is former NBA player Iman Shumpert, who is the one. Here you are. Um, <laughs> Playing basketball you with Justin that Bieber. Out of all yeah, yeah. Because you really look, I mean, you both look very serious there. <laughs> Are you guarding Justin here in this? Yeah, I was on, I was on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's pretty good, right? I he mean, is, he I've is. seen him play. He's but good. That, but you know what's crazy? And that's why I was doing all that because he had came to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? And he was kind of showing off because he knew he was good. I said, oh yeah. All right, bet. Nah, we're not doing that. But that was the very picture and the very moment that my husband fell in love with me. He was like, who is that girl? Her defense is on point. You know, he was a defensive player. So, you know, my... Wow. My defense is on point. You know, he fell in love with the kid. Did, um... <laughs> was, it, was it his defense that made you fall in love with him? You know what's crazy is it took me, like, three years to ever even, like finally give in. Mm -hmm. So even though he was feeling me this day, he didn't get me that day. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> You're too fast, it looks too like. Fast. <laughs> you couldn't catch me. Three catch years me. before you guys dated, wow. Oh, I let him hit. Wow, before you... <laughs>
What, ter- what did he do? Was it just that he wore you down? How did it, how did it finally work out? Oh, in what way? I mean, I mean when just he finally like... got me, he wore me down. Yeah. What would I say? <laughs> no, but... That's uh... not what I meant, but I'd love to hear about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, um... <laughs> no, I, I was actually in a relationship at the time. Oh, and okay. And I remember, um... So he seen me earlier that day. This was Luda Day weekend. And later on that day, I put on a little dress, some heels, you know, and I couldn't even walk in heels, so I was, I wound up just sitting on a bar chilling because my feet was hurting. <laughs> and um, he walked up to me and he was like, uh, you should, you should F with me. I, you need me in your life. I said, boy, you was doing too much. Calm down, back up. <laughs> so from that day, I was like a little bit scared of him. I was like, he just, he got a lot going on, but he was a rookie. He had just got drafted. So, you know, he was feeling it. He had on a V-neck. He hate V-necks. I hate him too. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, since then he just kept like you know, kind of trying and trying and trying, and then um, uh, later on down the line, I was neck. dealing with a breakup, and he was dealing with a breakup, and he had got injured, uh-huh. and um, you know, we just kind of became friends, and he was okay with the fact that you know what, I'm probably just never gonna get that, so I'm just gonna settle for friends. Oh, but there's always a but, you guys. Okay. Uh, I had a, a styling company, and I wanted to shoot him. And he was like my first client. He gave me my first chance or whatever. And then it was just like this one time when he had to take off his shirt. Uh huh. Girl. <laughs> so, you know, remember, he's just my friend. And my sister so was like, oh, girl, he cute. I see that for y'all. Y'all little chemistry. I said, oh, that's just my friend. Bye bye. <laughs> he took off that shirt and I was just, I had to clutch my pearls. I was like, <laughs> You know, and I I started looking at him completely different. Of course, I already loved him as a friend and his personality, but when I seen the Adi, I was just like, (laughs) you know, let's maybe, like, revisit. Remember when I was guarding Justin Bieber? Yeah, yeah. Remember that day? Yeah, and we just kind of, like, reminisced, and honestly, we just, we fell in love. He's amazing. Wow, that's great. Well, congratulations (laughs) on your love and on the movie and all this stuff. Thank you. The movies, you got 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Did you you know that? That was crazy. That's a big deal. I screenshotted that, because Rotten Tomatoes, Tomatoes don't play. Right, like, yeah. they don't play. They don't care who it is, what it is. I've it's always like, said that. They don't I play. I always see, like, 7%. <laughs> no, for real. It's like, 7% rotten tomato. And I'm like, so to see 100%, I was like, wow. And I read every single review. Yeah. Oh, you did? They said, Tiana, <laughs> don't read the reviews and what uh, I do. Uh, <laughs> see, every time I only got one job, when, I wind up doing everything else. When you get else. 100%, you can read all the reviews. It's yeah, no yeah. problem. Well, it's great to have you here. <laughs> the movie's called 1001. It opens at theaters March 31st. Tiana Taylor, everybody. We'll be right back with Jeff Bogle.